five. You need to decide between a Medicare supplement or a Medicare Advantage plan. How do you decide? Well, it's easy if you're rich. If you're rich, get a Medicare supplement. Buy the best plan, probably a plan G in your area. Buy a standalone Part D if there's cancer in your family, supplement it with a cancer plan. Look at a dental, vision, and hearing plan. That is a Cadillac insurance plan for people that really don't worry about budget. If you are definitely worrying about your budget, it's not as easy. People tend to think that a Medicare Advantage plan is going to be the cheapest because you can buy a zero premium plan. It's not always the cheapest. You've got to talk to your agent and you have to do the math and figure out based on how you use your insurance how much that would cost you. Sure, it might not cost you anything monthly as far as premium, but all your co-pays might add up that it might be more expensive than getting the high premium Medicare supplement. So it's not as easy as it looks. What is easy? Really rich people? Get them heads up. People on a really tight budget? Ah, it's a lot tougher. How about the majority of Americans? We're right in the middle. Yeah, our budget's tight. We could stretch and get a med sub. We could go to a med advantage. What should we get? That's where the insurance agent makes his money. What's he going to look at? He's going to look at your health, clearly, what drugs you take, how much do you travel? Yeah, that matters. Because if I'm always home with my family here in Indiana and I don't have a condo in Arizona and I don't have kids spread out from California to New York that I spend considerable time traveling, if I am doing those things, that's out of network. It's something to consider when you buy a Medicare Advantage plan, which is a network plan. So if you're one of those people that say, hey, my family's here, I might travel once or twice a year, might not be a consideration. Network is a big deal. And as networks get tighter and tighter with the budget cuts, it's something those of you on a Medicare Advantage plan really have to consider. How flexible are you? Are you really, really, really flexible? Are you just a little bit flexible? You know that. I can't tell you. Because you're going to buy a plan and you're going to say, oh, look, my doctor's in the network. This is great. I love this plan. And then next month, your doctor's out of the network. And then the next month, your husband's doctor's out of the network. Are you okay with that? Are you okay with getting new doctor relationships? Or are you really married to your doctor? Because a lot of people are, and I respect that. And if you're really married to your doctor, a Medicare Advantage plan might not be the best option for you. Medicare supplement, no network. You can go anywhere in the nation. You can go to the top teaching hospitals. Mayo Clinic, Cleveland Clinic, that typically aren't in network with Med Advantage plans. Now, that's a generalization because there's many Medicare Advantage plans. The networks do vary greatly. But in general, if you're not really flexible, you want a Medicare supplement. Because the networks on Medicare Advantage are always changing a lot right now with the budget cuts. So your health, your prescription drugs, how you have a relationship with your doctor, how much you travel, there's a lot of things to consider. It's not as easy as saying, okay, you're rich, go here, you're poor, go here. It's easy if you're rich, definitely buy the Cadillac. Because a Medicare supplement has heated leather seats. A Medicare Advantage plan has co-pays every time you see a doctor. Might have co-insurance, might have out of network, might have a very limited network. You're not going to have the heated leather seats. Both cars are going to get you there. They're both great coverage. But how you pay for them is going to vary dramatically. That's where local independent insurance agents come in. So if you don't have one, give us a call at Gordon Marketing. We'd be happy to recommend.